How's it going guys? I'm Stephen. Thank you for tuning in to our dog walk. It's Wednesday the 3rd of November. I'm out with eight big dogs and we're somewhere in Edinburgh. It's nice and calm, bright, mild, maybe a little bit cold and the dogs are well behaved, having fun. We're going to work them quite hard today. So I might be a bit out of breath as we go on. For which I make no apology. Let's crack on. Follow us. Maloney, Otis and Max burning off some energy. Possum getting involved. Possum scouting away. Getting barged into. Wally ruling the roost. Max and Pablo on my six. Making sure no one sneaks up behind us. We all having fun guys. We all having fun. Come on then, let's go. What we need to look out for today? Sheep, deer, ground nesting birds, cyclists, the army, other dogs, and other users of the area that we're in. So, just a small list today. Just a, just a nice easy day, hopefully. Come on, Maloney. Come on, you were last to respond. Who's doing that? Max! Things I'm watching out for, just to make sure that we're kind of the coast is clear, so to speak. The dog's body language, where their nose is in relation to the wind, how their tails are, if they're standing on their back legs, that kind of thing. It's so basically meerkatting, you know, are we, are we nose in the air? Are we trying to find something? But noses are down on the ground. Everybody's quite content at the moment. Body language is good. They've had a few plays. But we're not going to grudge them that, are we? So there's definitely a cluster of sheep to my right. Just there. And uh, they're within striking distance for these guys. But it, they would suggest that they've not got their smell. Or they're not that bothered. But we are not going to take any chances. We're going to keep moving pretty quick. And keep them distracted. And just on cue, here's some people coming over the brow of the hill. Let's see what they've got to say. Here's a bike. Here is a bike. In here on me. What's this? Maloney in. Max, what's this? Thank you. Awesome. You're going to sit nice? Thank you. Let's just wait. Good. Manners. Manners. <laughs> You're welcome. You are welcome. Thanks. Oh, nice guy. Okay, now, body language now. Every time we're kind of stopping, their noses are pointing off in this direction. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Make sure they don't get any more feisty. We've had to do an emergency turnaround. Just got to the brow of the hill behind us here. Flock of sheep right on the horizon. 10 metres, 15 metres from us. Got all the dogs under control. Sheep didn't even know we were there. Dogs didn't even see the sheep. We just turned around and just walked the other way. And uh, because we practice things like that regularly, the dogs aren't that fussed about what we're doing. But for me, that's a life-saving moment. Nearly, nearly. Good catch, Max. Oh. 
Thanks. Come on. This way. It's <laughs> lucky you two. Oh, lunatics. <laughs> Good. So we made it. Good work, Max. Boss, this way, sweetie. Right guys, thank you for watching right to the very end. That's the dogs tucked up in the van and me just having to untangle their leads. Um, thank you for staying with us right to the end. It's interesting, just as I, all the way around, I've been thinking, you know, the two people we passed and the cyclist could have told us about those sheep, but they didn't. But still we managed to avoid the problem so it's a lesson learned um, and uh, we, we move we move on from it so thank you for tuning in hopefully it's not stretched you guys out as much as it has me we'll see you on the next walk thank you